Set out on the path to holistic learning and realize your UPSC goals. Benefit from consistent and tailored assistance. Have your questions addressed promptly and ensure your preparation remains on track with unwavering learner aid. To empower aspirants in reaching their UPSC goals, Vision IS Delhi presents the GS Foundation course. The course highlights include holistic current affairs coverage, continuous mentoring and support system, comprehensive syllabus coverage, tech enabled classroom and services. Enroll in the Vision IS Delhi GS Foundation course. Batches starting 9th February 1 pm 23rd February 9 am 28th February 5 pm Start on the path to success in the UPSC Civil Services examination today. Dear students, as you embark on the UPSC journey, you encounter not only a vast syllabus and evolving patterns, but also the challenges of time management, retaining a massive amount of information, and dealing with the unpredictability of the prelims. Thus, success in prelims requires more than hard work, it demands a well-crafted, strategic approach tailored to overcome these specific hurdles. In this scenario, specialized mock tests become your strategic tool. It not only aids in holistic revision of the syllabus but also helps you develop problem-solving skills, navigating exam uncertainties, aids in overcoming exam stress and anxiety, and promotes effective time and resource management. These are your gateway to mastering the complexities of the UPSC prelims, providing the confidence and the competitive edge you need. Realizing this significance, and with a mission to help students achieve excellence in their effort, Vision IS has launched its much-celebrated All India GS Prelims Test Series Mentoring Program 2025. Building on the significant role of mock tests in UPSC preparation, we present our carefully designed 35 mock tests. This includes 8 fundamental tests to strengthen your basic concepts, 17 applied tests to enhance your knowledge application, and 10 full-length tests to ensure you are completely exam-ready. Alongside these tests, benefit from our personalized mentorship. With our experienced mentors get precise preparation inputs to refine your preparation strategy and maximize your potential. Join us for live online offline classroom test discussions and in-depth post-test analysis for every test. These are crucial for understanding your performance and improving consistently. For each test, we provide answer keys and comprehensive explanations, ensuring you have a clear understanding of every concept and question. Make the most of your revision time with our quick revision module, QRM. Designed for efficiency and smart preparation, it will help you focus on key concepts and areas for improvement. Our test series schedule is thoughtfully designed and flexible, catering to your unique preparation needs and learning pace. Experience our innovative assessment system. Track your progress with our trademarked innovative assessment system that also provides you with an All India rankings, giving you a realistic view of your standing among aspirants nationwide. Take the first step towards your UPSC success with the Vision IS All India General Studies Prelims Test Series and Mentoring Program 2025. Registration Open Ready to begin? Register now at our website. For further any queries, reach out to us at our enquiry at visionis.in. We're here to assist you on your journey to success.
So very good evening to all of you. I hope you're all doing good. Yes. How's the Josh? It should be high, very high, right? It's a very important session. We are about to approach prelims, right? Only three and a half months to go, and you're all here, right? <laughs> to get the last minute gyan and effective strategy. That's what we are here for, right? So we will start with what you should do in these coming three and a half months. I'm taking history and culture all the indian history aspects to tell you that what now you need to do right i'm assuming that you must have at least started your preparation for history right and even if someone has not they should not be fearing or should not have any kind of fear right so the first thing which you should know is that what actually we need to know for history to be able to make a very constructive strategy right so why this session because we all know that despite of knowing everything road is not straight what we think that this is the source this is the test series these are the books these are the topics but still you are not able to solve the questions right it's always very new very new experience whenever you get to see any test specifically any full length test any open test any any abhyas tests and even including your upsc prelims papers as well right so what we then think and do is that kya pata luck favor kar jaye ha na so luck bhi usko favor nahi karta hai luck is also made and created for upsc to be very honest when we hear the topers talk we come to know ki ha hum maine ye ye kiya so there is a checklist which they all say that these are the ncrts these are the topics which we did and bang on they cleared the exam right so you have to make a constructive scientific comprehensive strategy for all the subjects for the remaining time at your hand right so for that what you need to do is you need to understand the nature of the exam right so the nature of the exam although very unpredictable very uncertain that's what we think about upsc that it is the unpredictable examination of the country but it's half truth why it is half truth because we still feel that there are certain topics there are certain predictable themes which you can work upon from the previous analysis you can understand the trends you can link certain portions with the current affairs and that is what the mix of upsc questions are so upsc is all about glitches sometimes it clicks sometimes it does not click so life is like that right so you should not lose hope every step you take is what counts and you are just just near the success right so first of all what we knew, should know is what are actually the kind of questions and number of questions that come in history so let's understand in the last 10 years how has been the nature of the questions and how many number of questions uh, have been asked in history right so this is where the trick lies and this is what is making the difficulty level for indian history section you know uh, very difficult reason being hamesha hum ye sochte hain that it is the modern indian history section that we have to focus more right so in the last 10 years there have been 65 questions in modern history and if you see the collective questions of ancient medieval and culture the count comes out to be 105 right to iska matlab kya hai that you need to switch around think around what are you going or doing wrong in your preparation that's why time and again we are always emphasizing on keeping in line with what upsc is asking how upsc is evolving right so if we look this trend and look at this trend analysis we understand that it is the ancient medieval and culture that is being focused right but if, if we collectively see the number of questions it comes out to be around 170 that means 17 to 18 questions every year in the last 
टेन ईयर्स बट ये भी हो सकता है इन सम ईयर इट कम्स आउट टू बी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू दैट इज अगेन हाउ यू पी एस सी चेंज इज इट्स ट्रेन सम वेटेज इज गिवन एक्स्ट्रा टू सम सब्जेक्ट इन वन पर्टिकुलर यो राइट सो यू हैव टू बी मेंटली प्रिपेयर इन वॉट यू आर अंडरस्टैंडिंग अबाउट यू पी एस सी राइट सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द सब्जेक्ट आई विल बी टेकिंग अप फर्स्ट मॉडर्न इंडियन हिस्ट्री टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इफेक्ट इज स्ट्रेटेजी वी नीड टू मेक फॉर दीज अपकमिंग मंथस राइट सो कमिंग टू द प्रिडिक्टेबल थीम्स येस देर आर वेरी मच प्रिडिक्टेबल थीम्स विच यू हैव टू डू वेन इट कम्स टू दिस सब्जेक्ट दैट इज मॉडर्न इंडियन हिस्ट्री फर्स्ट बींग एक्ट बेस्ड क्वेश्चन एवरी ईयर ऑलमोस्ट आई एम नॉट emphasizing on this fact this is the truth that almost every year you get a question right that means agar test series mein aa raha hai kahin par bhi aa raha hai upsc mein aa raha hai you have to practice this topic in depth because this is a predictable theme right next is your gandhian phase and indian national movement now coming to gandhian phase and indian national movement again there are questions which are very predictable very easy and this is again one section which you have to prepare prepare aise karna hai come what may that if this topic is coming i have to get this question right right then peasant and tribal movement civil rebellions on and off questions do come every alternate year from this topic right similarly personality based questions also has a huge weightage when it comes to modern indian history prelims right now these personality questions come from different phases of indian history right to kabhi socio religious movements se puchhenge whether you know in some year they would ask from your extremist phase some in some way or they would ask the personalities from the revolutionary phase right so these are the areas which are very hot selling and predictable right coming to the kind of questions very quickly so when it comes to act based questions in modern indian history usually upsc interchanges the options with some other act or provision to padhna kaise hai that you need to be very crystal clear in the provisions of the acts because they have this tendency to interchange aur kya galat karwayenge is question mein they will replace one option with the other one act with the other so that is what you need to do that you need to know the provisions of the acts right next they have this tendency of you know going to in depth in these questions what i mean by in depth is that now they have started to make an act based question theme based theme based kaise jaise agar hum is question ko dekhe it says that montague chenceford reforms of 1919 recommended granting voting rights to all the women above the age of 21 similarly if you see the second statement it says gui act of 1935 gave women reserved seats in legislature so this is a theme based question within the act based questions so jab aap padhoge this is what you need to understand if you randomly do the provisions nothing will stick to your mind because questions are theme based bhi aa rahe hain right so that's how you need to prepare this section coming to gandhian phase usually questions have been very easy champaran se aaya hai rollet act se aaya hai rollet satyagraha is a very important topic so this is again on the expected lines that if you will be covering the gandhian phase till quit india movement questions are relatively easier right similarly you get questions on the mahatma gandhi and his role in south africa so all of what you get in your ncert or spectrum or your any standard notes that's what you do right in this section Similarly, अब अगर आप ये क्वेश्चन देखोगे एट ऑगस्ट नाइनटीन फोर्टी टू इज सिग्निफिकेंट फॉर वॉट इट्स रिलेटेड टू क्विट इंडिया मूवमेंट सो डेट स्पेसिफिक क्वेश्चन इवेंट स्पेसिफिक क्वेश्चन अगैन इज वॉट यू पी एस सी इज आस्किंग ऑब्वियसली हिस्ट्री में और क्या पूछेंगे हिस्ट्री इज अबाउट इवेंट्स राइट वॉट यू हैव एक्सपीरियंस और द पास पर्सनैलिटीज हैव डन देर कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन सो दैट्स वॉट दे यूजली आस्क इन हिस्ट्री सेक्शन राइट 
coming to peasant and tribal movements again questions have been very easier very easy on expected lines rayat wali system kya hota hai what is ulgulan related to so they are again very easy topics right similarly there had been question on santhal uprising also right ab isme kya karte hai usually when you have predictable themes uh it is here that upsc is asking very difficult statements which you usually don't find in your regular textbooks to hum is pe baat karenge in the end when we will be summarizing what you need to do for modern indian history but uh, rest assured whenever it comes to predictable themes or topics you have to do the length and breadth of that topic right similarly if you see personality based questions kaise dikhte hain jaise maine bola that they pick up personalities from extremist phase to या सी डी एम मूवमेंट और गांधीन फेस तो एक क्वेश्चन है तंजोर कोस पे हु ब्रोक द सॉल्ट लॉ राइट सिमिलरली हु रोड द बायोग्राफीज ऑफ मिजिनी गैरी बैल्डी ही वॉज वंस इलेक्टेड टू दी सेंट्रल असेंबली सो दीज आर हाउ पर्सनैलिटी बेस्ड क्वेश्चन लुक लाइक सिमिलरली हु ऑल हैव बीन एसोसिएटेड विद गदर पार्टी इफ यू सी दिस क्वेश्चन दिस इज अगैन personalities and how they have been related with different organizations or bodies right so there is a pool of personality based questions it is a factual portion but ye why we are you know showing it to you because you have to now streamline your preparation you are reading books the way books have been written we are saying that you need to prepare those topics the way upsc is asking there is a difference right we will be discussing on that as well so socio religious movement personalities directly questions are not coming on socio religious movements per se but personalities are picked up so for example ishwar chandra vidyasagar pe question aaya similarly there had been a work or journal written by jyotiba phule uh, valankar mahatma gandhi bhim rao ambedkar so all these options were given and you had to find out that who had written vital vidhansak right so these are the personality based questions ye bahut difficult question tha rakma bai case because it's usually not found in your regular textbooks right so that's what we need to understand if we summarize modern indian history that when it comes to predictable themes they are increasing the difficulty level right so what are the changing trends so one is we've discussed how predictable themes and questions look like now how are they changing the trends in modern indian history and how you need to now align your prelims preparation with that the areas which now they have started to focus in the last 3 to 5 years have been from these sections why because usually they are left in your preparation to agar unko difficulty level badhana hai what will they do obviously they will pick up those sections which you leave you you used to leave medieval you used to leave ancient you used to leave culture abhi tak right so they will increase the number of questions and then the same way in modern indian history also they have now started to explore those themes which you usually leave right these themes are advent of europeans economic impact of british rule collectively why this section has been picked up by upsc if we see the history in an organic way these are the turning points in history so from medieval you enter into modern india period because of these events are you understanding this these are turning points in different phases of history had they not come had the british not ruled over us we would not have seen the way we have seen or we are seeing indian history now राइट तो कोई भी फॉरेनर आता है इन्वेजन होती हैं दिस इज हाउ यू अंडरस्टैंड द टर्निंग पॉइंट तो इसीलिए क्वेश्चन आर कमिंग ऑन द कलोनियल इम्पैक्ट और एक ब्रिटिश इकोनॉमिक इम्पैक्ट ओवर इंडिया और एडवेंट ऑफ यूरोपियंस तो दीज आर द हॉट सेलिंग नाउ थीम्स विच यू नीड टू प्रिपेयर सिमिलरली गवर्नर जनरल why have they started asking questions on governor general again because of the contributions they have done positively obviously ki bhai kisi ne school banaya some had passed some legislation which again changed the society right so these are all policies and initiatives which different governor generals undertook in india that's what they are focusing 
next thing which has changed the nature of modern indian history is your current affairs now history is also linked with newspaper reading so let's see how these questions look like and then we will summarize advent of europeans mostly they are asking questions ki factories kahan set up kari who gave the land when they came to india right so these are again those aspects which you need to prepare right similarly if you see again there had been a question on factories that on which all areas did the british india or east india company set up factories right baroch chika coal trichinpalli so again these are those aspects similarly if you see economic impact ke questions very important impact of british rule was in economy which is seen which is seen critically right there had been journals written there had been awareness spread by you know different personalities in indian history to make people aware how was the nature of the british rule to isiliye questions come from the import and export of commodities how different you know initiatives which the britishers did led to a change in indian economy just just to give you an example which of the following statements correctly explains the impact of industrial revolution on india during the first half of the 19th century impact of industrial revolution industrial revolution matlab growth of industries but india mein kya ho raha tha handicraft industries were ruining so there was happening deindustrialization so that explains the nature of the impact of industrial revolution to iska matlab in history conceptual questions are also asked ye factual nahi hai ye hai analytical question this is what you call when you understand certain concept you are very sure in the answer because these are the questions which are difficult but on predictable lines options ye aise banaye which may confuse you so you need to hone the concept the theoretical aspects even in history history is not only about facts history is about how you understand certain things why did they take place right then coming to governor general their policies and initiatives see the question there have been questions on lord wellesley i don't know why there had been a question asked on subsidiary alliance of lord wellesley why did wellesley established fort william college at calcutta similarly there was another question where they asked that who set up again fort william college aur yahan par they played with arthur and richard wellesley so wellesley that means is very favorite pata nahi kyun so that means again you have to pick up certain things and mind you these two questions if i am not wrong came in one paper only right so these are the things which you need to know ki wellesley is a very important topic or as such governor generals ab aapko focus karna hai which you usually leave right because these are the changing trends now coming to current affairs linkage in modern indian history so there was this question asked Hind Mazdoor Sabha established in 1948. Who were its founders? Now, all of a sudden, why will UPSC ask Hind Mazdoor Sabha? Right. So there was a current affairs linkage. So in 2018 January, there were lot many news coming with respect to labor union issue and the Industrial Disputes Act. Many labor unions. were raising concerns in the changes that were done in the industrial laws and hind mazdoor sabha was very much in focus theek hai to jab aap newspaper ab padhoge if any labor union any organization any historical personality which has been talked about or which has come in the news you have to do its static portion तो क्वेश्चन हिस्ट्री में उन्होंने ये नहीं पूछा है डायरेक्टली करंट अफेयर्स जैसे इकोनॉमिक्स होता है और लेट्स से पॉलिटी होता है हिस्ट्री में स्टिल थिंग्स आर अंडर द कवर इट इज अ करंट अफेयर्स क्वेश्चन बट इट डज नॉट लुक लाइक करंट अफेयर्स क्वेश्चन सो यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस 
दिस इज वेयर यू नीड टू सिंक योर प्रिपरेशन ठीक है तो इस तरीके से मॉडर्न इंडियन हिस्ट्री के क्वेश्चन आते हैं सिमिलरली इफ आई शो यू अनदर क्वेश्चन दिस वॉज दिस क्वेश्चन आस्ट ऑन महात्मा गांधी हु अमंग द फॉलोइंग इज एसोसिएटेड विद सॉन्ग फ्राम प्रिजन अ ट्रांसलेशन ऑफ एंशंट इंडियन रिलीजियस लिरिक्स इन इंग्लिश सॉन्ग फ्राम प्रिजन न्यूज क्या आ रही थी जब ये क्वेश्चन आया था न्यूज वॉज कमिंग ऑन महाराष्ट्र जेल टूरिज्म इनिशिएटिव दैट दे स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम येरावाडा जेल येरावाडा जेल how many of you know is associated with mahatma gandhi he was put in jail in yerawada right aur wahan par he wrote this song from prison to aapko kya karna hai yerawada jail tourism initiative ek signal aana chahiye yerawada jail yes i have read in spectrum yes i have read it in my notes yerawada jail has to do something with modern indian history i need to prepare it this is what you need to do now because number of questions is tarike ke badh rahe hain so despite of you all knowing the sources these are the changing questions which change your destiny ye questions hote hain easy and this these questions make you different from the other right so this is where you need to practice sources and what should be the effective strategy for modern indian history so when it comes to sources there has to be delineation of the sources that this is what i will do this is what i will not do or this is what i will do selectively ye ek essential material hona chahiye which could be either your ncert your class notes or spectrum anything which you feel that is most comprehensive right second test series why because all the books are not comprehensive what does test series do it gives you different kinds of questions different kinds of facts which you need to integrate in your notes ab notes pe aate hain notes banane hain ya nahi banane hain for the portions or the facts which you do not get in your regular textbook which you are reading as a revision book you need to include those facts in one place aisa nahi hai that you will rewrite rollet satyagraha all over again ye ek galat approach hoti hai right aapko kya karna hai from the book which you have your mark that this is where i will study my modern indian history i will include all the possible facts which i have gained either through test series or through newspaper and make it your last revision book or compilation don't rewrite everything don't rewrite peasant movements you just need to include the facts so that is what you need to now do right so that means you have to revise your basic books you have to make use of test series as the source as well as the explanations also as a source material kai bari questions mein bhi information hoti hai isliye i am including the questions also as part of source in depth yes you have to go in predictable themes in predictable themes themes like acts themes like gandhian phase themes like peasant and tribal rebellion so you need to go in depth right personalities mein yes you need to prepare them you have to next do what that you have to link your newspaper reading with your static portions i am again repeating in modern indian history the questions are not looking like current affairs but they are current affairs theek hai to is tarike se you have to make use of the understanding which we are providing you now coming to art and culture and then afterwards i will take the questions whatever is bothering you for this subject art and culture or ancient medieval history as i told you in the last 10 years there have been 105 questions that means close to around 10 to 11 questions iske liye kya karna hai do we have predictable themes yes we do have and the second thing which you need to do is you have to be selective in this subject right so i will be telling you what you need to do what are the predictable themes obviously main bolu ya na bolu aapko sabko pata hai buddhism and jainism 
it goes without saying that you have to prepare it, right? UNESCO's intangible cultural heritage list, UNESCO's world heritage sites, dances and festivals, tribes, architecture. So then what did you do? If you are then what is left if I am telling you all this that you have to do? Nothing did you to be very honest. To be very honest, I'm being very frank that yes, questions in art and culture have come from every topic. If you talk about temple, yes, they have asked. If you talk about caves, yes, they have asked. If you talk about significant places, yes, they have. Are they linking current affairs? Yes, they are. Right? Are they asking questions from UNESCO list? Whether World Heritage Site or Intangible Cultural Heritage List, yes. Are they asking questions from tribes, dances, festivals, yes. Are they asking questions from GI Tag, yes. So, ab kya? Ye. UNESCO. UNESCO, either World Heritage Site or Intangible Cultural Heritage List. You have to prepare them. Ye defined hai. How many World Heritage Sites are we having? 42. 42 mein Ajanta Elora bhoot famous hai. Aayengi, aayengi. Right? 42 mein there are certain monuments which are very famous. If you talk about intangible cultural heritage list, Certain painting, certain dance form, certain puppetry, theatre traditions. Yes, they will be asking. Prepare them. If you talk about dances, prepare classical dances. Rest, PT365 aata hai, which is compilation of all the, you know, current affairs may, what dances or paintings have come in news, use that. Or ni aap kuch kar sakte. Right? So you have to limit your source. Okay? Coming to the kind of questions. So if I were to give you a framework. Specifically in Buddhism and Jainism. <clears throat> there are questions coming on core philosophy. That means you need to know the core philosophy of Buddhism and Jainism. You need to prepare literature of Buddhism and Jainism, the texts. Do you have to prepare paintings? Yes, Buddhist paintings, Jain paintings. Do you have to prepare their architecture? Yes, you need to know stupas, chaityas, Viharas, Buddhist temples, Jain temples, but kitna? To what extent? Extent define ho raha hai in culture from two aspects. One is your current affairs. Any Buddhist temple, any Buddhist site, any Jain temple, any Jain site, any Chaita Vihara is coming in news, you have to know it. And then is related to core subject examples. So, aap kabhi bhi jab aap parte ho Buddhist architecture. You cannot do Buddhist architecture without doing certain landmark architectures. Jaise, any example? Saanchi stu, very good. Hana? Any other example? Udegiri Khangiri Caves, Elora, Ajanta Paintings, right? So this is what you need to do. Extent, we dekhna hai na? Extent hai core subject examples or landmark pillars and current affairs. Core mein, I am not talking about the whole list of stupas, chaityas, viharas. I am talking about core examples, right? Similarly, current affairs. Okay? So, is tarike se questions aate hai? Yes. There is another thing which is becoming very famous, 
that is different sects of Buddhism and Jainism. So this topic is difficult because NCRT me to kuch nahi hai. So here I would recommend a specific book, right? Apart from your test series, apart from your class notes, apart from your NCRT, you need to prepare this topic from A.L. Basham's Wonder That Was India. Now this book is so popular, say it, say it, that now there is another book <laughs> which I want to suggest but I will not. It will not do so Upinder Singh. Only for Buddhism and Jainism I am talking about. But uske baad bhi I know that they will ask a question which you don't know. <laughs> to isi liye stick to one reference book. Stick to one reference book that is A.L. Basham or Upinder Singh, whatever you feel like. Because there is a sea of ocean when it comes to facts and knowing things in Buddhism and Jainism. Theek hai? Then coming to another areas. So this is the important book which I am suggesting, A.L. Basham's Wonder That Was India. Then coming to UNESCO, as I told you, that UNESCO's intangible cultural heritage list you have to prepare. Just say, for example, Mudietu, Kalbelia, Chao Dance, Sankirtan, Kum Mela. So all these traditions are listed. There, there can be questions on them. So this is just inscribed list. There is nominated list also. So ye bhi aapko prepare karni hoti hai. Jaise for example, they have asked questions already from Kalamkari and, San and Satriya dance. You never know that they ask questions on what is Rathva. So Rathva is a tribal dance. Questions kaise aate hai? What is Rathva in the cultural history of India? It is a handicraft. It is a tribe name. It is a folk dance or a tribal dance. Right? So you need to prepare this list. Deep nahi jana hai. They ask very factual questions, right? Similarly, UNESCO's World Heritage List. 42 sites hai. The last one is Shanti Niketan. And uh, you have to prepare all the sites, right? General awareness tarike ke bhi statements aa sakte hai. For example, which state has the maximum World Heritage Sites, or which state does not have any World Heritage Site, which UT has maximum sites, which UT does not have any World Heritage Site. So this is about, again, how curious you are to know about the cultural heritage, right? Similarly, current affairs linkage, hai. culture may be here, kaise? Question aya, Bani Thani belongs to. Although this is a very static portion, when you do paintings, Bani Thani's are the most famous ones, right? But usse pehle hi, there had been news coming on that Kishangar Airport is being beautified with Bani Thani paintings, right? So any uh, re-modification is done on airports or railway stations or any foreign dignitary comes, you have to make a note of it. Kaibari pata nahi hota hai, that inspires the paper setter to ask questions on the same topic itself. Right? Similarly, there are newspaper inspired questions also, which has nothing to do with current affairs. The questions are directly lifted from a particular newspaper. Chai wo Indian Express ho, chai wo Hindu ho, to ek random article aa sakta hai, taan se in pe, aur question bhi wahin se ban sakta hai. Right? So never lose on historical or ancient or cultural articles whenever you get your hands on them in any newspaper. Right? Next, current affairs linkage on traditions, festivals, GI tags, very, very important. Newspaper ka sahara lena hi padega. Right? Extent mark karna hai na? You have to draw the boundary line, newspapers or PT-365 material, right? Cultural places, sites, GI tags, as I'm telling you, these are very important topics in culture. Crafts, handicrafts, again, you have link with newspaper, 
में एक चीज दी हुई एंड क्वेश्चन इज ऑल्सो कमिंग इन द सेम व्यू राइट सो एज आई एम टेलिंग यू न्यूज पेपर में यू हैव टू मेक श्योर दैट यू आर नॉट लूजिंग आउट ऑन एनी हिस्टोरिकल और कल्चरल ट्रेडिशन राइट दीज आर बिकमिंग वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट नाउ पिलग्रिमेज साइट्स पिलग्रिमेज प्लेसेस टेम्पल्स बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है इस साल टेम्पल्स टेम्पल्स ऑफ इंडिया pilgrimage sites jyotirlings mahakal everyone is going to mahakal ha na to you never know that inspires the paper setter to pata hona chahiye which dynasty madhya pradesh mein had been ruling in medieval and ancient times do madhya pradesh right yahi cheeze hain which is changing the trend in upsc तो आप पहले ही कर लो राइट सिमिलरली एज आई टोल्ड यू साइट्स साइट्स पिलग्रमेज प्लेसेस इंपॉर्टेंट कल्चरल प्लेसेस आर वेरी हॉट फेवरेट्स ऑफ यू पी नाउ इन द लास्ट थ्री फोर इयर्स मैक्सिमम क्वेश्चंस आर कमिंग फ्रॉम योर वेदर इट्स एंशियन साइट्स मिडीवल साइट्स और कल्चरल साइट्स राइट सिमिलरली इफ एनी डिग्नेटरी जैसे प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ इंडिया प्रेजिडेंट एनी फॉरन डिग्नेटरी ऑल्सो विजिट्स एनी इम्पॉर्टेंट मोन्यूमेंट्स और कल्चरल साइट उस पर भी क्वेश्चन आता है क्वेश्चन ये नहीं आता कौन सी साइट पे गए क्वेश्चन आएगा कि इफ देव गॉन टू इनग्रेट स्टैचू ऑफ इक्वालिटी वॉट इज द फिलोसफी ऑफ रामानुजाचार्य राइट सो क्वेश्चन कैन बी अ ब्लैंड ऑफ स्टैटिक एज वेल एज करंट अफेयर इंस्पायर्ड क्वेश्चन now coming to ancient india these are the predictable things socio economic life when it comes to socio economic life you have more term related questions in them right indus valley civilization mauryan period sangam period and cultural contributions or texts related to medicine astronomy mathematics science snt etc these are the predictable themes right so in this valley civilization very important you get questions on sites also directly you get current affairs inspired question dola vira ko mila tha unesco world heritage site status so they asked a very simple question you can be lucky when you get such questions which are so simple otherwise aisa hota nahi hai similarly you get questions on the socio economic aspects of indus valley as compared to rigvedic phase right so you have to go in depth in indus valley whatever predictable themes i'm sharing with you you have to go in depth right secondly mauryas ashokan sites they are very important theek hai kabhi bhi ncert mein you get hold of any map you have to prepare map agar aapko nahi pata hai yeragudi jogada rupnath sanchi matlab anything what is there in ncert you have to internalize it ye nahi kiya to things will be difficult ncert karni hai but you have to make sure that you are doing ncert by heart everything what is written you are knowing about it theek hai as i told you significant places jaise culture mein puchte hain ancient mein bhi puchte hain burza home ganeshwar chandra ketu gar questions factual hai this is the subjects nature is factual but you need to make sure that you are picking up themes in ancient medieval and doing it like that तो प्लेसेस साइट्स इस पर आप ज्यादा फोकस करोगे एज आई एम अगेन एंड अगेन टेलिंग यू व्हाट हैपेंस एंड व्हाट इज रॉन्ग इन द प्रिपरेशन इज दैट यू कीप ऑन रीडिंग द बुक इन द सेम मैनर आई एम सेइंग दैट इन द लास्ट नाउ व्हाट एवर टाइम इज लेफ्ट यू हैव टू रीड द बुक्स इन द वे क्वेश्चन आर कमिंग दैट इज हाउ यू मेक और बिकम क्लोजर टू यू अभी यू नो थिंग्स बट यू आर नॉट क्लोज टू सॉल्विंग क्वेश्चन there is a difference you have to come close to solving questions right newspaper jaise maine bola so chandra ketu gar was coming in the news heritage panel plans international center at chandra ketu gar to ye inspire kar gaya paper setter ko right 
Similarly, maps, again, whenever you get hold of ancient medieval maps, you have to know them. ठीक है तो ये है आपका ancient. Now coming to medieval. Very important. Significant dynasties like Delhi Sultanate, Mughals, Vijayanagar, Bhakti Sufi traditions, terminology based questions on socio economic life, they are still very important. Right? But coming to what next beyond them? So, if we quickly understand that what we need to do in this section, primarily that they are now asking difficult questions also. Jesse, according to Portuguese writer Nunes, the women in Vijayanagar Empire were expert in which of the following areas? Question Vijayanagar per year. But it's not difficult hai, that you don't know. So pick the theme and do its length and breadth, 360 degree. If you know Vijayanagar is important, you need to prepare it exhaustively. Same goes with modern, same goes with ancient, and same goes with culture and medieval. Theke? Similarly, dekho, Vijayanagar pe bohat questions aaye hai. Dam pe socio-economic life pay, right? Now coming to what next or extra you need to do. Up kya focus hai? Predictable themes ek side. Now how you need to cater to the ancient and medieval new emerging trends. Ye jo new emerging trends hai, they are coming or asking questions on basically a certain timeline and area. And that is the transitional phase. So when we do ancient, the important dynasties are Mauryas and Guptas. But if we ask Harsha and Gupta ke beech mein dynasties, ke bare mein puche, you don't know. Yes? So from here, questions are coming. Kaise? From the decline of Guptas until the rise of Harshvardhan in the early 7th century, which of the following kingdoms are holding power in North India? So transitional phase. These are the new emerging themes which you have to find out in your NCRT. Again, NCRT only. Right? Similarly, if you see these questions, this question also, they are primarily those dynasties which are the early medieval dynasties or late ancient dynasties. Ancient se medieval ka jo transition hai, usme questions hai, right? If you <coughs> see another question, how many of the above dynasties established their kingdoms in early 8th century? Dynasties ye hai, koi bhi nahi. They are all medieval dynasties. 10th, 11th century upwards. So this is where you need to focus now. Another emerging trend is your specifically invasions. Specifically invasions. Jaisa mene bola, in modern Indian history, Europeans came, they changed the course of history. Similarly, ancient to medieval may be invasions were, which changed the course of history. That's from where questions are coming. So you need to focus. So usually it is said that you need not prepare political history. Battles to abhi bhi nahi pooch rahe. But developments that change the course of history is what they are asking. So these are the new emerging trends which you need to prepare in ancient and medieval. Right? Important themes this year, specifically in culture, Bharat Mandapam exhibition, many handicrafts, delicacies, paintings were exhibited, gifts were given, those dignitaries visited certain places in India. Sab karna hai. <laughs> right? Kitna karna hai, you know. Extent. Current affairs and very factual portions which you need to 
डू जैसे पता होना चाहिए इन विच टाइम पीरियड वॉज दैट मोन्यूमेंट बिल्ड हु वॉज द रूलर राइट विच ट्राइब इज एसोसिएटेड विद दिस हैंडी क्राफ्ट राइट सो वेरी फैक्चुअल क्वेश्चन कम दे डोंट गो टू डीप इन दैम बट यू हैव टू प्रिपेयर अ लिस्ट ऑल दो दिस विल बी कवर्ड इन योर पी टी थ्री सिक्सटी फाइव आई एम होपिंग बिकॉज दिस इज वॉट इट वॉज करंट अफेयर्स फॉर दिस ईयर बट दिस इज वॉट यू नीड टू डू न्यू पार्लियामेंट बिल्डिंग वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ठीक है नाउ कमिंग टू द अंडरस्टैंडिंग विच वे टू गो आफ्टर नोइंग ऑल दिस वॉट इज दिस रोड टू सक्सेस दिस रोड टू सक्सेस इज डिफाइंड बाय a very clear vision and strategy well defined goals you need to your mark that this is what you need to do if this is not done you will always be swinging from here to here there so you need to have well defined goals you need to have a solid foundation base base to abhi bhi karna hai certain essential certain predictable things which you need to do you need to have right approach right approach different from what you have been doing that you are reading a book the way books are written you need to read them according to the approach which upsc is having right and taking action that means you need to solve test series you need not fear from open test and abhyas you need to measure your performance because ultimately you all are competing with each other right next thing what are the key takeaways then the same thing basic fundamental books test series as a source specifically for this subject prepare the important topics specifically in predictable themes you have to have in depth analysis you have to do chronology because this is history and then you need to make a link between current affairs and the static portions right now you can ask me your questions yes <clears throat> i care hmm. i think that uh, some question are asked from the times of india लाइव में तो एक साथ हम लोग चार पांच न्यूज पेपर नहीं ना पढ़ सकते तो मैम हाउ टू डील विथ यस अ वेरी वैलिड क्वेश्चन दैट व्हाट टू डू व्हेन क्वेश्चंस डायरेक्टली क्रम फ्रॉम अ न्यूज पेपर सो यू आर आइदर फॉलोइंग हिंदू और इंडियन एक्सप्रेस आई विल नॉट टेल यू टू चेंज योर अप्रोच और न्यूज जस्ट बिकॉज ऑफ वन क्वेश्चन कमिंग इट्स नॉट हंड्रेड क्वेश्चन कमिंग राइट एंड सेकेंडली न्यूज आर just for the information that these are the themes which you need to prepare as a upsc aspirant as a curious and updated aspirant as an aware aspirant what you need to know is that when something is coming recurrently repeatedly in a newspaper that means you have to do that topic you have to prepare that topic once you have finalized that okay i am reading the hindu this theme is coming repeatedly you google that theme prepare that theme from 360 degree and that's how you cover that topic to ye jo aapki problem hai ki toi se pooch rahe hain live mein se pooch rahe hain that will end we are we have to change the way we are reading things right anyone मैम मेरा क्वेश्चन ये था कि मैम जैसे जो मेडिवियल का विजयनगर वाला क्वेश्चन था उसमें मैम ऐसे क्वेश्चंस ऐसी इन्फॉर्मेशन तो मैम ज़्यादातर सोर्सेज में नहीं मिलती तो मैम इसमें हम ट्रैवलर अकाउंट की हमको समरी पलटी रहती होगी क्या मतलब ऐसे क्वेश्चंस को हमको तैयार करने के लिए सी अगेन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू गो बैक एंड टेक द रेफरेंस ऑफ दैट क्वेश्चन विच आर टॉकिंग अबाउट दैट वॉट वर द रोल्स दैट वर टेकन अप बाई वेमेन इन विजयनगर एम्पायर अगेन अनालिस और समरी इज हेल्पफुल इन मीन्स राइट right? जिस तरीके से उस पर्टिकुलर ऑप्शन में क्वेश्चंस uh, में ऑप्शंस थे दैट इनेबल्ड अस टू सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन बट कमिंग टू योर क्वेश्चन दैट हाउ फार वी हैव टू गो व्हेन इट कम्स टू दीज प्रिडिक्टेबल थीम्स यस यू हैव टू गो फार एक्सटेंट को आपको ड्रॉ करना है दैट हाउ डीप एक्चुअली यू आर गोइंग वेमेन कास्ट इकोनॉमिक लाइफ again have been predominant themes which upsc picks up 
वेमेन फेवरेट है उनकी इकोनॉमिक लाइफ फेवरेट है सोशल लाइफ में दो ही चीजें हैं कास्ट या वेमेन दैट्स व्हाट दे आस्क व्हाट रोल्स व्हाट प्रोफेशन डू दे टेक अप वॉट वॉज अलाउड फॉर देम टू डू सो दीज आर अगेन दो ट्रेडिशनल थिंग्स रोल्स जो अभी भी एक प्रॉब्लम है इंडियन सोसाइटी के रोल्स तो प्रिडिक्टेबल थीम्स में यस यू हैव टू गो फॉर ट्रैवलर्स देर समरीज नॉट इलेबोरेटली बट यस फ्रॉम द प्रॉब्लम्स पर्सपेक्टिव एनी वन एल्स यस मैम आपने जैसे बोला कि मैप करना है एन से तो वो उसका क्या तरीका होता है मतलब करने के लिए <coughs> Let me very quickly go to the map. Very important question: How to do map in history? So, question came in which one of the following regions was Dhanya Katak, which flourished as a prominent Buddhist center under the Mahasanghikas? As I told you, places are coming. Map. Yeah, NCERT का ही map है. Dhanya Katak है यहाँ पर. Dhanya Katak is mentioned in NCERT, right? So they asked a question: Andhra me hai, Gandhar se related hai, Kaling or Magadh? Andhra, you know, Gandhar, Kaling, Magadh, Orissa, North, Northwest. Dhanya Katak hai, Andhra me. This is how you use map. That you need to know if places are written, you don't know what is Dhanya Katak. You have to Google. Kya ye Amravati hai? because amravati was also an important center of buddhism is it an old name and yes old and new names or modern names are also very famous in previous years 10 years back if you if you ask me the analysis of 20 years this old name medieval name modern name uh, were the questions which were asked you never know they repeat the same I know. So that is how you do maps. Anything else? Ma'am, मैं ये पूछना चाहती हूँ जैसे मैम मतलब कोचिंग कर रहे हैं हम लोग और जो सब्जेक्ट्स चल रहे हैं इवन कोर सब्जेक्ट्स भी नहीं हुए हैं और इट इज़ द टाइम ऑफ रिविजन मल्टीपल रिविजन इवन मैम तो मैम वाट मतलब मैम हम लोग क्या करें जिनका ना तो कोर सब्जेक्ट भी क्लियर नहीं है रिविजन कहाँ से करेंगे हम लोग एक बार भी नहीं पढ़ा है हम लोगों ने वो सब्जेक्ट कितने सब्जेक्ट्स रह गए हैं आपके हाउ मेनी सब्जेक्ट्स आर लेफ्ट मैम अभी एनसीएन शुरू हुआ है एग्रीकल्चर वो मैम पूरा मेडिएवल बचा हुआ है मैटर ऑफ वन एंड हाफ मंथ्स और मैम पॉलिटी भी नहीं हुई है गवर्नेंस शुरू ही नहीं हुआ है मैम आई हैपन टू सी अ टॉपर स्टॉक आई फॉर हर नेम she mentioned that she only had one month in her hand and she prepared for prelims and she got through and she is a rank holder theek hai to matlab ye hai mera kehne ka that prelims is just how you are in that moment you need to be positive you Ma'am, need wahi janna chahti hu ki ab mam limited time hai तो मैम कुछ ऐसी चीजें भी होनी चाहिए कि लिमिटेड टाइम में भी हम कवर कर सकें तो इसीलिए तो प्रिडिक्टेबल थीम्स आपको बोल रहे हैं दैट्स व्हाट यू नीड टू डू वन मोर थिंग मैम जैसे मल्टीपल रिविजन की इसलिए बोला जाता है कंफ्यूजन ना हो hmm. अब जैसे मैंने जो सब्जेक्ट एक बार हुआ है उन्हें दोबारा पढ़ रही हूँ तो क्वेश्चन अटैम्प्ट कर रही हूँ तो मैम आउटपुट नहीं मिला क्योंकि मैं कन्फ्यूज हो रही हूँ और गलतियाँ कर रही हूँ आपने ए बी सी डी बचपन में याद करी थी यस yes, मैम अभी तक याद है यस yes, मैम क्यों मैम उस टाइम उनको ज्यादा से ज्यादा यूज किया होगा रिवाइज होती रही करी होगी यस मैम पेरेंट्स ने डाटा भी होगा यस मैम दैट तुम अ को ए क्यों बोल रही हो पॉलिटिक्स राइट सो द मोर यू प्रैक्टिस द मोर यू डिस्कस द मोर परफेक्शन यू अचीव सो देर इज नो शॉर्टकट वेन इट इज सेट रिविजन येस रिविजन ये फैक्ट्स ही ऐसे हैं कि अनलेस एंड अनटिल यू डोंट रिवाइज इन मल्टीपल टाइम्स दिट विल नॉट स्टे एंड देन देर आर टू मेनी सब्जेक्ट्स 
सो यू हैव टू रिवाइज मैम वन मोर थिंग एज लाइक मैम जैसे हमारे कोर सब्जेक्ट्स कंप्लीट हो जाते हैं मार्च तक और अगर उसके बाद थोड़े नॉर्मल सब्जेक्ट चल रहे हैं जिनका स्कोप कम है तो हमें उन्हें छोड़कर इनके रिविजन्स पे फोकस करना exactly. चाहिए या उन्हें करना चाहिए नहीं आप प्रिडिक्टेबल थीम्स पे जाओ टॉपिक्स पे जाओ यू नीड टू प्रिपेयर योर करंट अफेयर्स एंड लिंक द स्टैटिक पोर्शन सो इफ इन पॉलिटी और गेटिंग लेट से गवर्नर तो गवर्नर को अच्छे से कर लो ओके मैम क्वेश्चन एंड प्रॉब्लम आर कमिंग फ्रॉम करंट अफेयर इंस्पायर्ड इशूज whether it's polity whether it's economy whether it's history whether it's environment you need to relate with your current affairs and do certain predictable themes certain predictable pillars jo bhi toppers hain if they have cleared prelims it's not as if they know everything they've done certain essentials itna hi kar sakte ho in 3 and a half yes, months up anyone else thank you ma'am so all the best guys have a nice day and wish you all the best make the most of it right don't get disappointed don't get uh, you know jumbled up i know it is very challenging but there's always a ray of hope right jo bhi successful hue hain they have always tasted failures so failure and success are not opposite to each other they are two sides of the same coin इधर करोगे तो सक्सेस है इधर करोगे तो फेलियर है बट फेलियर नहीं होगा तो सक्सेस का पता नहीं चलेगा सो बी होपफुल बी ऑप्टिमिस्टिक डू द राइट थिंग्स प्रैक्टिस योर पेपर्स डू द एसेंशियल पिलर्स ऑफ एवरी सब्जेक्ट एंड दैट्स अबाउट इट राइट सो ऑल द बेस्ट गाइस हैव अ नाइस डे वेलकम एफिशिएंट प्लानिंग एंड इफेक्टिव फॉलो थ्रू आर द ट्विन पिलर्स ऑफ अ रोबस्ट एग्जाम प्रिपरेशन स्ट्रेटजी In an intensely competitive environment like the UPSC CSE, meticulous planning and a strong initial push are of paramount importance. Avail the chance to gauge the competition nationwide and strengthen your exam preparation with the Vision IS All India GS Prelims Open Mock Test 3. The test offers key features like All India ranking to gauge your standing among aspirants nationwide. Vision IS post test analysis for a comprehensive understanding of your strengths and weaknesses. Complete coverage of the UPSC CSE GS prelims syllabus to ensure you are well prepared. Alignment with the UPSC exam pattern to mimic the real test environment. Available online on 25th February 2024. Attempted from anywhere and free of cost within the 2 hour test window. Welcome to the dynamic world of UPSC where the journey unfolds across three critical stages prelims mains and interview each stage demands a deep understanding of current affairs shaping the nature of questions from factual analytical to opinion based questions as we delve deeper into the UPSC's diverse syllabus a major hurdle aspirants face is keeping pace with the evolving nature of current affairs this includes staying updated with changes such as policy shifts geopolitical developments environmental updates and more such dynamism along with an undefined syllabus and a vast array of resources makes mastering current affairs a formidable task for UPSC aspirants to navigate these complexities we have introduced PT365 to revise analyze and master one year current affairs for prelims 2024 in 60 hours with its innovative design and structured approach PT365 simplifies your preparation Our PT365 offers comprehensive current affairs classes that stand out for their interactive classes by highly experienced Vision IS faculty. Holistic coverage of one year current affairs for a strong foundation which includes prelims relevant topics from the Hindu, Indian Express, PIB, Economic Times, Yojana, Economic Survey, Budget Sansa TV etc from April 2023 to April 2024 Embrace the vast UPSC syllabus with PD 365's targeted and thorough approach transforming it from a complex task into a pathway for achievement Ready to begin Register now at our website 
For any further queries, reach out to us at these numbers or enquiry at redvisionis.in. We are here to assist you on your journey to success. Welcome everyone. Meet Arav, an aspiring UPSC candidate. His eyes are full of dreams, his room a reflection of his ambition with UPSC topper stories. Arav starts his journey and soon finding himself engulfed by mountains of books and endless notes as he grapples with the vast UPSC syllabus. Despite trying various revision methods, Arav's anxiety escalates each day. He feels lost in a sea of information, struggling for direction. In his moment of confusion, Arav discovers the Lakshya Prelims Mentoring Program 2024, a ray of hope in his challenging journey. He found that Lakshya Program offers a strategic plan for revision and practice, which includes the entire GS and CSAT syllabus. It skillfully integrates monthly current affairs and PT 365 with the static GS syllabus for a comprehensive revision. CSET, once a daunting task, is now approached with rigorous practice and focus, building confidence. Amazed by the personalized approach, Ara finds Lakshya's plan as per his unique needs, that is, by focusing on high-yielding areas, facilitating multiple revisions, providing effective and validated reading lists for efficient preparation and analyzing the evolving demand for UPSC prelims paper with in-depth trend analysis of previous year questions PYQs. With Lakshya's structured plan, Arav's approach to preparation evolves. The chaos of his study room now becomes a focused learning environment. Empowered and confident, Arav is now ready to conquer the UPSC prelims. The once daunting task now appears within his reach. Interested in learning more or registering? Visit visionis.in slash luxure or call us on these numbers. Start your successful journey with Vision IS today.